tigers, with their distinctive orange fur and black stripes, have become emblems of both beauty and power, while also representing the significance of conservation. There are now six distinct subspecies of tigers. The story of the tiger's evolution can be traced back to approximately two million years ago, when the earliest known tiger ancestor left Africa and ventured into Asia. Over time, the big cat split into nine subspecies, with six still alive today. The most numerous subspecies is the Bengal tiger, accounting for approximately 50% of the tiger population. Worldwide, tigers are the world's largest cats. On average, the big cats weigh around 450 pounds, but the largest is the Siberian tiger. The characteristic black and orange coloration of most tigers is created by the pigments eumelanin, which give the fur its black color, and theomelanin, which gives the fur its orange hue. White tigers are a subspecies of Bengal tigers. The gene SLC45A2 is responsible for the generation of theomelanin in the body. A mutant form of this gene is carried by white tigers, and as a result, they are unable to produce orange colour in their fur. At the turn of the 20th century, approximately 100,000 tigers roam the wild, living as far west as Turkey and as far north as Russia. However, as a result of deforestation, human development and poaching, their range significantly decreased. And within 100 years, the world's tiger population declined by approximately 96%. Today, there are fewer than 4,000 tigers left in the wild. Over the course of the last few decades, with the assistance of the international community, various programs have been established to safeguard tigers and the environments in which they live. It's possible that tiger numbers may gradually increase. About the Siberian tiger. The Siberian tiger is the largest cat on the planet, reaching nearly 10 feet in length and weighing up to 700 pounds. There are less than 500 Siberian tigers left in the world, with approximately 400 of these stocking Russia's birch forests and the rest being dispersed throughout eastern China and North Korea. The climate that the Siberian tigers call home is significantly chillier than that of other tiger habitats. Here, temperatures can drop to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, Yet, the Siberian has developed incredible adaptations for life throughout the year. Large paws keep the cat from sinking in the snow during the warmer months, which is one of the Siberian's year-round survival strategies. Its pale orange fur allows it to blend into the forest in the winter, and its white stomach and chest helps keep the tiger out of sight and keep it warm. The tiger's winter fur is longer and thicker than its fur in the warmer weather, which is widely spaced stripes that camouflage the tiger and its surroundings as the seasons change. Tigers such as the Sumatran and the Bengal, all of these assets prove to be invaluable for a cat that spends almost eight months in the snow. Coat adaptations conceal the tiger. As it stalks prey, it moves in silently from the side. Its rear strong hind legs launch the cat up to 20 feet in one leap directly on top of its prey. Tigers such as the Sumatran and the Bengo show all of these assets proving to be invaluable for a cat that spends almost eight months in the snow. Although they are not really nocturnal, Siberian cats are more alert and active at night. This is because they have a particular reflecting layer in their eyes called the tappet and lucidum, which is located behind the retina. Siberians hunt both during the day and the night. This film enhances the amount of light that comes in, making objects appear brighter and giving the tiger night vision that is six times greater than that of humans. This enables the tiger to ambush prey, even when it is dark. Tigers have some of the largest canine teeth of any land-based carnivore, but only one in 10 attempts results in a successful kill. As a result, Tigers frequently gorge themselves after bringing down prey, consuming over 60 pounds of flesh in a single sitting. Tigers use small hooks on their tongues called papillae to cut and rip every bit of flesh from the bone. 
However, human intrusion has caused tigers to become increasingly endangered. Poachers killed roughly 85% of the remaining tiger population, and logging and human settlement devastated millions of acres of forest that was the tiger's hunting ground. Authorities confiscate and burn poachers contraband to prevent its sale on the underground market. When we travel farther into the territory of these large predators, we raise our chances of having a confrontation with them that could end in our deaths. This puts the Siberian tiger in danger, but it also puts us in peril. About the white tiger. The white tiger is a subspecies of the Bengal tiger, and it is estimated that there are only around 200 white tigers in the world today. These tigers are native to the Indian subcontinent and are found in the dense forests and grasslands of India, Bangladesh and Nepal. They are known for their distinctive white fur, which is caused by a genetic mutation known as leukism. This mutation affects the pigmentation of the fur, making it appear white. But the stripes are still present, which makes it easy to identify a white tiger. White tigers are apex predators and are known for their powerful hunting skills. They are solitary creatures and usually hunt at night, using their keen sense to track their prey. They are primarily carnivores and feed on a variety of animals, including deer, wild boar, and even monkeys. White tigers are known to be very aggressive and territorial and will fiercely protect their territory from other tigers. Unfortunately, the population of white tigers has been declining for decades due to habitat loss and poaching. Deforestation and human encroachment have destroyed the natural habitat of these tigers, making it difficult for them to find food and shelter. In addition, white tigers are often hunted for their valuable fur, which is believed to bring good luck and prosperity. This illegal trade has put a huge strain on the population of white tigers and has made it difficult for conservation efforts to be successful. In order to protect and conserve the white tiger, many conservation efforts have been launched in the countries where they are found. These efforts include the creation of protected areas for the tigers where they are free from hunting and poaching. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching, so please give me thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I hope to see you with our next video.